Macaws are known as the giants of the parrot world. Macaws have long tail feathers as well as big beaks. Macaw adaptations include large, curved, powerful beaks designed to crack open hard nuts and seeds. These parrots have a long, streamlined physique and colorful feathering, ranging from the hyacinth macaws hyacinth blue to the scarlet macaws scarlet red coloring. Some macaw species have bare, facial patches. Macaws are intelligent, social birds. In the wild, macaws are programmed to create specific sounds for each family member. A parent will give each chick their own sound and the chick will know how to reproduce these calls. This natural instinct is what encourages pet birds to reproduce human words and sounds. Macaws are informally classified into two groups, large macaws and mini macaws. The large macaws include those of the era, Anadoraurinchus, and Cyanopsida genera. Although there are 18 living species of macaws, not all commonly get adopted by people. Scientists have now identified 22 species of macaws. Of these 22, 5 are extinct, 4 are listed as endangered, and 3 are critically endangered. The rest are considered as under threat. So be sure to buy your bird from a reputable breeder. We are here to show some of these beautiful species of macaw. The hyacinth macaw, or hyacinthine macaw is a parrot native to Central and Eastern South America. The largest parrot by length in the world. The hyacinth macaw is 1 meter, 3 feet 3 inch, long from the tip of its tail to the top of its head and weighs 1.2 to 1.7 kilograms, 2 pounds 10 ounces to 3 pounds 12 ounces. Each wing is 38.8 to 42.5 centimeters long. The tail is long and pointed. Its feathers are entirely blue, light or above. However, the neck feathers can sometimes be slightly gray. The ring around the parrot's eyes and area just underneath the beak are a strong, vibrant yellow. Its lifespan can exceed 50 years.
Bear's macaw also known as the indigo macaw, is a large all-blue Brazilian parrot. A member of a large group of neotropical parrots known as macaws. The parrot is native in Bahia in the interior northeast of Brazil. Lair's macaw is 70 to 75 centimeters, 28 to 30 inches, long and weighs around 950 grams, 2 pounds 2 ounces. They are as similar to hyacinth macaw but they have dull color. It is metallic blue with a faint, often barely visible, tinge of green, and a yellow patch of skin at the base of the heavy, black bill and white ring around its eyes. Its lifespan can exceed 30 to 50 years. Spix's macaw, also known as the little, blue macaw, is a macaw native to Brazil. Spix's macaw is easy to identify being the only small blue macaw, and also by the bare grey facial skin of its lores and eye rings. It is about 56 centimeters, 22 inches, long including tail length of 26 to 38 centimeters, 10 to 15 inches. It has a wing length of 24.7 to 30.0 centimeters, 9.7 to 11.8 inches. Its plumage is gray blue on the head, pale blue on the underparts, and vivid blue on the upper parts, wings and tail. The legs and feet are brownish black. In adults the bare facial skin is gray, the beak is entirely dark gray, and the irises are yellow. They can also live for 25 to 38 years. The blue and yellow macaw, also known as the blue and gold macaw. This species occurs in Colombia, Venezuela, Peru, Brazil, Bolivia, Ecuador, and Paraguay. The range extends slightly into Central America, where it is restricted to Panama. These birds can reach a length of 76 to 86 centimeters, 30 to 34 inches and weigh 0 0.900 to 1.5 kilograms, 2 to 3 pounds, 
making them some of the larger members of their family. They are vivid in appearance with bright aqua blue feathers on the top of their body except for the head, which is lime colored. The bottom, however, is a rich deep yellow, light orange. Their beak is black, as well as the feathers under their chin. Its feet are of a gray color, save for black talons. The bird has white skin, with its face having nearly no feathers beside a few black ones spaced apart from each other forming a striped pattern around the eyes. The irises are pale light yellow. They can also live for 65 to 70 years. The blue-throated macaw, also known as the canaan macaw or wagglers, macaw, is a macaw endemic to a small area of north-central Bolivia, known as Los Llanos de Moxos. The blue-throated macaw is about 85 centimeters, 33 inches, long including the length of its tail feathers and has a wingspan of approximately 3 feet or 0.9 meters. It weighs about 900 grams, 32 ounces to 1,100 grams, 39 ounces. Upper parts are turquoise blue, slightly duller on crown and brighter on rump. Under parts largely, bright yellow but the vent is pale blue. It has bare facial patch obscured by blue feather lines merging into blue lower cheek and throat. Separated from crown by narrow yellow stripe and bare pink skin around base of the large, black bill. On the face there is a sparsely feathered patch of skin near the base of the large dark colored bill that has five or six horizontal stripes of blue feathers which are unique for every blue-throated macaw and can be used to individually identify adults. These birds can live over 80 years. The military macaw is a large parrot and a medium-sized macaw that gets its name from its predominantly green plumage resembling a military parade uniform. It is native to forests of Mexico and South America and though considered vulnerable in the wild, it is still commonly found in the pet trade industry. 
The military macaw is 70 to 85 centimeters, 27.5 to 33.5 inches, long on average, and 99 to 110 centimeters, 33 to 43 in, across the wings. Military macaws are mostly green with light blue and yellow flight and tail feathers and a bright red patch on their forehead. Their face is bare and white in color with black striations. The large strong beak is gray-black and the iris is yellow. Military macaws live in large flocks and can live about 50 to 60 years in the wild. The scarlet macaw is a large red, yellow, and blue central and South American parrot, a member of a large group of neotropical parrots called macaws. It is native to humid evergreen forests of the neotropics. Its range extends from southeastern Mexico to the Peruvian Amazon, Ecuador, Colombia, Bolivia, Venezuela and Brazil. It is about 81 centimeters, 32 inches, long of which more than half is, the pointed, graduated tail typical of all macaws. Though the scarlet macaw has a larger percentage of tail than the other large macaws, the average weight is about 1 kilogram, 2 pounds 3 ounces. The plumage is mostly scarlet, but the rump and tail covert feathers are light blue, the greater upper wing covers are yellow. The upper sides of the flight feathers of the wings are dark blue as are the ends, of the tail feathers and the undersides of the wing and tail flight feathers are dark red with metallic gold iridescence. Some individuals may have green in the wings. There is bare white skin around the eye and from there to the bill. Tiny white feathers are contained on the face patch. The upper mandible is mostly pale horn in color and the lower is black. The scarlet macaw can live up to 75 or even 90 years in captivity although a more typical lifespan is 40 to 50 years. The red and green macaw also known as the green-winged macaw. It has a widespread in the forests and woodlands of northern and central South America. In terms of length, 
This species is second only in size to the hyacinth macaw, the largest of the macaws. The red and green macaw attains a total body length of 90 to 95 centimeters, 35 to 37 inches, in adults. Twelve adults were found to average 1,214 grams, 2.676 pounds. A weight range of between 1,050 and 1,708 grams, 2.315 and 3.765 pounds, has been reported. The green-winged macaw is mostly green, as opposed to mostly yellow, or a strong mix of yellow and green in the scarlet macaw. In addition, the green-winged macaw has characteristic red lines around the eyes formed by rows of tiny feathers on the otherwise bare white skin patch. This is, one of the biggest differences from a scarlet macaw to the casual viewer. Iridescent teal feathers are surrounded by red on the tail. If seen together, the green-winged macaw is clearly larger than the scarlet macaw as well. The lifespan of the green-winged macaw is 60 to 80 years. The chestnut-fronted macaw or severe macaw is one of the largest of the many macaws. They can be found over a large part of northern South America from Panama south into Amazonian Brazil and central Bolivia. A feral population is found in Florida. The chestnut-fronted or severe macaw is mostly green in color with patches of red and blue on the wings. The head has a chestnut-brown patch just above the beak. The beak is black and the patches around the eyes are white with lines of small black feathers. It is the only one of the miniature macaws that has lines of feathers in the bare patches around its eyes. It is 45 to 50 centimeters, 17.5 to 19.5 inches, long and weighs 300 to 410 grams, 11 to 14 ounces. Their lifespan is listed as anything from 30 to 80 years of age. The red-fronted macaw is a parrot endemic to a small semi-desert mountainous area of Bolivia. The red-fronted macaw is 55 to 60 centimeters, 21.5 to 23.5 inches long. It is mostly green and has a red forehead, a red patch over the ears and bright red to orange edged under wing covers. It has an area of pinkish skin around the eyes extending to the beak. 
It has red at the bend of wings and blue primary wing feathers. Their lifespan is listed as anything from 50 years of age. The red-bellied macaw also known as Guacamaya manilata. It is endemic to tropical Amazonian South America, from Colombia and Trinidad south to Amazonian Peru and Bolivia, and central Brazil as far as the northwestern Cerrado. The red-bellied macaw is medium-sized, about 300 grams, 11 ounces, in weight and about 46 centimeters, 18 inches, in length including its long pointed tail. The plumage is mostly green, the sear and much of the face are covered with bare mustard yellow skin. And the irises are dark brown. The forehead is bluish. The chin, throat and upper chest are grayish with some green scalloping. And the lower abdomen, belly, has a large maroon patch. The tail is long and tapered. The underwings and undertail are dull, olive yellow. Adults have dark gray beaks. The legs and feet are dark gray. Red-bellied macaws have a lifespan range of 15 to 30 years. The blue-headed macaw or Callan's macaw is native to eastern Peru, except in north, northwestern Bolivia, mainly in Pondo, and far western Brazil, only in Acre. 
It has a total length of about 41 centimeters, 16 inches, making it a member of the group of smaller macaws sometimes known as the many macaws, which includes any species of macaw with a total length of 50 centimeters, 20 inches, or less. As in all macaws, its tail is long and pointed and the bill is large and heavy. The lifespan of the blue-headed parrot can reach up to 40 years. However due to poor nutrients and accidents, the average lifespan is 25 years. The blue wing macaw, in of the culture more commonly known as a lizard macaw, is a species of small macaw, sometimes called a mini macaw, found in Central and Eastern South America. It has a total length of approximately 36 to 43 centimeters, 14 to 17 inches. It has a moderately sized black bill, a long tail, and a mainly green plumage. The upper side of the remiges and primary covers are blue as indicated by its common name. The underside of the wings is yellowish, the tail tip, crown and cheeks are bluish, and the tail base and small belly patch are red. The iris is amber. It and the red-bellied macaw are the only macaws where the bare facial skin is yellowish. But this often fades to white in captivity. Unlike the red-bellied macaw, the blue winged has a red lower abdomen and a red lower back. Blue winged Macaws have been known to reach an age of 50 to 60 years.
the golden collared macaw or yellow collared macaw is a small mostly green central south american parrot it occurs in the pantanal of brazil northern argentina far northern paraguay and most of northern and eastern bolivia it has a total length of about 38 centimeters 15 inches of which almost half is tail feathers the general plumage is green with a distinct yellow collar that is broadest on the back of the neck. The yellow collar develops as the bird ages, with more vibrant colors found in mature birds. The front and crown is brownish black. The remiges and primary covers are blue and the long, pointed tail has a red base, a narrow green center and a blue lip. The underside of the tail and flight feathers are greenish yellow. Similar to that of several other small macaws such as the blue-winged and red-bellied macaw. The legs are dull pinkish color, and the iris is reddish to dull yellow. It has extensive bare white facial skin and the heavy bill is black, often tip pale gray. Their lifespan is listed as anything from 50 years of age. The red-shouldered macaw is a small green South American parrot. It is native to the tropical lowlands, savanna, and swamplands of Brazil, the Guianas, Bolivia, Venezuela, and far southeastern Peru. The red-shouldered macaw, at 30 centimeters, 12 inches, long and 165 grams, 5.8 ounces, weight, is the smallest of all the macaws. Like all macaws, it has a long narrow tail and a large head. It has bright green feathers on the body, with dark or slate blue, feathers on the head just above the beak. The wings and tail have feathers that are bright green above and olive green below. The leading edges of the wings, especially on the underside, are red. These red feathers appear at puberty. Their eyes are orange and the skin around the eyes is white without feathers, just as in the larger macaws. This bare patch of facial skin is smaller in proportion to the head than the one seen in most larger macaws. The red-shouldered macaw can live for 25 to 40 years in captivity. <laughs> 